this world is out of balance. Yes? I'll help if I can, but Master Lee is waiting for you. Then we should return to Master Lee so he can talk to you about this attack. It's a good thing we have Master Lee here. Don't forget his senior student. They say she's the one who fought many of those bandits. Those bandits will think twice before threatening a town protected by the likes of Master Lee. They were fools to even come here. The only shame is that their ship sunk. Think what we could have done with their plunder. Ah, well, that's another opportunity lost. In this town, it's vital for a businessman to keep tabs on anyone with two coins to rub together. Things haven't been this slow since the long drought. That master of yours keeps things ludicrously stable while merchants thrive on strife. During the long drought, prices rocketed into the sky like fireworks. Yeah, no doubt. I can't say that. He's a wise man who sees to the heart of things. If I were to complain about anything, it's how few students he attracts. A skilled master could bring a lot of people into this town, but he is very selective about who comes. That's his business, I'm sure, but it affects my business as well. Spoken like a true merchant. Not necessarily wrong, but... I get by. I suppose I shouldn't wish for strife, lest it come knocking on my door. Besides, the bandits didn't do as much to bring people to the store as I hoped. <laughs> so, maybe stability is underrated. Maybe because they got pilfered before they got saved. Just a thought, I thought. Happily, we don't need to waste time on my gripes when there's silver to be spent. You'd think the recent attack would have people buying supplies or weapons or something. But alas, business has not improved. Who could be more important than Master Lee? He is the anchor of this town, and none question his wisdom. Two Rivers has always accepted the masters of your school as leaders. But none have taken to it with the skill, authority, or wisdom of your master. No different from anyone else. If you keep to yourself, no one bothers you. Well, you are always asking questions. That can be tiring. Although I do prefer that over Gao's posturing, he is not well liked. 
but his father has money, so he gets his way. If you wish, what do you want to know? I've never set my eyes beyond the horizon you can see from here. There must be someone else you could ask. Dang, dude. I grew up during the worst of it, but I don't remember much. Just the joy when the Emperor put an end to it. Two Rivers was almost deserted by that time, but Master Lee arrived soon after, and we've had peace ever since. I don't know. That's why the Emperor is the Emperor, and I'm content to be here. I don't need to worry about it. I send my thanks to the spirit for successful journeys just like everyone else. I don't have any special insight. Why not ask your friend there? Dawn Star knows more about the spirit realm than anyone, it seems. She's been a great help from time to time. I do what I can to help, good merchant. That's all any of us can do. If you... Well, there isn't much to tell. I'm just a simple merchant trying to ply his trade in a town that resists spending money. <laughs> One day the gods will recognize my suffering and elevate me to their ranks. So if you suffering. wish, what do you want to know? I have nothing at the moment. I can't keep my stock up. I do what I can, but the ghosts and bandits limit travel. They viciously force many caravans to turn back. To hear some of the caravan masters talk, there are problems of this type all over the Empire. I will be sure to let you know as soon as anything comes to town. Well, that sucks. Do come back when the weight of your silver is slowing you down. Always happy to help. I love the dude's eyebrows. Those are some seriously impressive eyebrows. Sure. Guard here is doing Quite a bit of excitement. Yes, bandits can be tricky opponents. Of course, that didn't stop Gal the Lesser from beating a few of them senseless. That boy enjoys causing pain. You, uh, you won't tell anyone about what happened, will you? I couldn't leave my post, you know? I can't keep watch over the students if I'm dead. Right, and I will, while I'm still alive. What do you need? Why do you need to ask? A bandit attack isn't of enough interest? What else would people talk about? Ghosts, Farewell. Maybe. I have never seen Master Lee display such power. He truly is a great man. Hey, boys, look who it is. Ugh. Is that the one gal the Lester's always going on about? I think so. I say we teach a little lesson about staying in your place when, when great men like Gow are around. We're twice the men you are, drunk or sober. <laughs> uh, this isn't a man. Shut up! Teach us well for lesson manners. Longsword! I need him. Yes? 
I'll help if I can, but... N then we should... Lesson has been taught. I knew you would not let those bandits overrun the village. I hope I equal your skill someday. Please do not. This is the first task I have been given, and I don't want to get distracted. Master Lee was looking to speak with you, wasn't he? After he left me here, he went back to his house in the center of the school, if you're looking for him. Bandits didn't fight nice like you do at the school. Sweet child. I heard how you faced those bandits in the village. Many people are impressed, but I expected no less. Your skill is a match for any rough bandit. Is there anything you need? Perhaps a training session with some of the students. It would do them good. Ah, yes, training. For some time now, I have offered, for a small fee, to run students through a short regimen that will help them enhance their abilities. The lessons you learn from me, or from any trainer for that matter, will stay with you and help make you stronger or better able to focus your mind or magic. Let's see what you can learn. Mind of steel, belly of iron. Let's do that one. And To hear Gao tell it, he single-handedly beat back the bandits. But I know you did the lion's share. Too bad I was stuck up here minding the younger students. It would have been great to see Master Lee deal with that sorcerer. We so rarely see our master's true abilities in action. What do you need from me? You think I will talk about them behind their backs? I will, but I don't want people to think of me as the local gossip, even if I am just that. If you wish, what do you want to ask about? I think we've basically covered everything with her already. Stay well. After all, how could we learn without our most senior student to guide us? Quick save. Could you 
just never know. There must be fewer travelers for the bandits to prey on. They have to be desperate to attack the village. Glad to see you're still well. By most reports, you faced down many of those bandits yourself. Impressive, senior student. Wow. Those all seem kinda high on herself, but... That's the difference a lifetime of practice will make. I'm sure their survivors learned a lesson. To hear Gao's side, he pushed back the bandits. But I know you dealt with the greater share of them. Of course, it was best that our master was there to deal with that sorcerer. The stories about their confrontation spread quicker than a plane's fire. You are the hero of the moment. Gao claims that he dealt with hordes of bandits, but everyone else agrees that you turned aside their main attack. It is good that you were here. My foolish lack of attention forced Master Lee to come to my rescue, and left me with a wound that will take a few weeks to heal. Master Lee assures me I will heal in time. It's a shame, as Smiling Mountain was teasing me just yesterday with some special prize. Smiling Mountain trains students in group combat, and just yesterday I managed to break your record for the number of opponents faced at once. He teased me by saying if I could go one higher, he might have a prize for me. I suppose he might make the same offer to you, if you're up to it. If I could fight, he could likely round up enough opponents for you to make a run at a new record, but I can't face anyone with this wound. Poor in. Unless you can speed up time, I'm not sure there's much that can be done. Master Lee has already tended to it. Then again, I vaguely recall a grass or herb that hastens the healing process. Someone like Old Ming might know for sure. He's quite interested in herbs. I think so, though I can't remember the name. It was some kind of rare grass, I think. I don't think it's a common plant, no. The only person I can think of who might know for sure would be Old Ming. Well, maybe we'll have to go talk to Mr. Old Ming. I know you're very busy, but if you happen to have time and be passing by the beach, I'd appreciate it if you would at least ask Old Ming. If I'm lucky, he might know of an herb, and if heaven smiles upon me, he'll know where to find some. If you have to buy anything, let me know what it costs and I'll pay you back happily. It would be worth it to get back to training. Take care. Oh, and if you happen to find anything that might help this wound after you talk to Old Ming, let me know. Well, let's go talk to Old Ming. See if we can't help Kim in. points. E pa fawe e a kosa ui a toa. Nobody, <coughs> 
Nako Nirpuk no Sanko Nano Wana Napir. Niato no Napadi Irovir. Kuni Uk Nawata Ir. Irkana. Unigasuri Ir Kwana no Kasa Ir Iro. Interesting. Tasi Ir Si Ir Tintu. Funye Wawosi Ye Wata Hufu. Ipanar nuko iwa ir ni kasanar ir iruru ni nuwa sa ir kana. Well, we don't want to do that. We're trying to help the poor girl. Usa ir kokonato tanatia katana no shafato yo kokonato si ir ipanar ni ko ni ato no napadi iruvir ko ni ug nawata ir usa ir kokonato tanatia katana no shafato yo. Coconato siri pananiniko. To go through to us Excellent advice. Look, Sena, look, can I, I, can I, can I, A potential customer is a welcome customer. What can I Eyebrows. do for you? Oh yes, I had heard that someone was injured and immediately saw the opportunity to make vast sums of... No, to make a difference, that's it. Huh. Wow. Anyway, I've checked my stocks and I only have enough ingredients to make one dose of the salve for a poultice. I'm not sure how much good it will do by itself. Might take a bit of the sting away. Oh, now that's thinking, isn't it? Yes, I suppose red silk grass might be just the thing for a wound. I could add it to the poultice. Kind of makes me think of the current medical system. Uh, expensive stuff, that. Very pricey. Hard to acquire, too. Would certainly help her wound, but I know something just as good. Get her some bearded tongue grass and she'll feel better. It won't hasten the healing any, so she'll have to take it easy, but it will deaden the pain. If you think you can justify such opulence to heal something that time would take care of, who am I to argue? I'll just need your payment to prepare the poultice. Business has been slow. What am I supposed to do? Starve? See to the heart of the matter. I suppose I can't risk losing the sale when I have no other stock, so I will knock a few silvers off the price. <laughs> yeah. An excellent choice. I'll mix the salve for you and prepare the poultice. It won't take a moment. There you go. Her pain will fade quickly, and the binding effects of red silk grass will make sure she can fight again, if she wants to. Your generosity is extreme, but who am I to complain? Enjoy, and I hope it makes your friend better quickly. Do come back when the weight of your silver is slowing you down. Always happy to help. Mm, clearly.
This has been a busy day for us all. Is there something you need? The sun breaks through the clouds when I hear news like this. Heavens, I can already feel it working. That's amazing. Yes, yes, this should be perfect. The poultice must have cost you some silver. Let me repay you. What did it cost? Given how quickly I could feel an effect, this cure was worth it. Here, take this with my thanks. If you're interested in trying to set a new record for Smiling Mountain's special prize, whatever it is, then I'll be ready. Goodbye. And we made a couple silver. And gained points in the way of the open palm. Heck yeah. Yes, I save a lot. I have a history of laptop crashing. What can I do for you? I am here to serve and trade. Yes, and the students are on edge from the bandit attack. It would do them good to work some of that out. And now that Kia Min is feeling better, maybe you'd like to challenge her record in my little training exercise. Kiamin says that she is feeling well, and her wound seems to be already healing. I believe she will provide a fine challenge for you. If you win this match, then I will have a special reward for you. Good fortunes. Let's get it. done. As promised, here is a reward for setting a new standard. Kia Min is eager to try again, but I asked her to rest for now. She seems well, despite her earlier injury. Now, is there anything else you wish at the moment? Goodbye. I am here if you need anything. series of exercises designed to offset some of the weaknesses. Oh. Plus five to help, plus five to focus. Heck yeah! Well, it seems you have everyone on your side again. Hero of the village as well as the school. It is a well-earned accolade. We should all be proud. I'm not sure why. Such vermin are barely a threat. I beat a couple of those fools as well, just not the swarm on the beach. So you are at their beck and call? A service animal for those too weak to protect themselves. That's <laughs> an endless foolish road to go down. There are always victims, always weaklings. You could live a thousand lives and still someone will be begging for your help. I see how you might think that's valuable, but are these mud farmers worth the effort? I don't think so. Of course you don't. All I care about is my ability and what I want. The cares of everyone else are not my concern. 
You'll soon see what I am capable of. Now go talk to your precious master. He will not resume our training until he has met with you. What can I do for you? I am a Ah yes, the lessons you learn. Let's see what you can learn. The obvious path is humble, safe, but pays the wage of a cook, not a champion. in case, you know, this goes badly. Thank you. 
connectedness of all things. Even that which is humble can be the key to greater things. Gaze of the Lion. What is that? What did we get, yo? Technique, Gaze of the Lion. Plus two to focus, plus two to help. Lion must always be aware of the totality of its domain. And ready for to, to, to protect it. Master Lee. Save. Right. Let us speak to the master. Ah, you are back. I hope this unfortunate matter with the bandits has not caused undue stress. Some good people were lost, but many were saved. It means, however, that I must accelerate your training. These invaders discovered us by accident, but as you likely suspect, they are related to your destiny. You have trained hard and are ready. You will have a pivotal role in some great events, my student, after you return from the Spirit Cave. I object! Gao, what is the meaning of this intrusion? Your pet student is not the only one who fought those outlaws. Perhaps I did not stand in their midst on the beach like a fool, but I did my part. If you spent less time coddling her, you would have many promising students instead of one. Jealousy... Does not look good on you, Gao. This is not a matter that can be decided by effort, Gao. There are things at play that you do not understand. I understand that this student has received preferential treatment and I have suffered for it. Whatever is in this spirit cave, I am worthy of facing it too. If she is truly better than me, let her prove it. I challenge her. I will not have you brawling in the street. If this must happen, it will happen in the ring, as a proper test of your abilities. Gao, you are restricted to styles that I have taught. I know the dark tutoring your father, Gao the Greater, has imparted, but I won't have any such sorcery here. Hobbled before I begin? Of course. How else would your precious protege win? <laughs> My student... I do not trust Gao to fight honorably. Consider your attacks carefully. Prepare yourself and return when you are ready. Remember the basics. They will serve you well. Let us... Do a quick save. Gao awaits your signal to start the challenge, my student. Tell me when you are ready, and I will have the combat ring prepared. Hmm. Excuse me. All right. Let's get it then on. Then let the fighters meet in the arena. Fighters, are you ready? This challenge will continue until one of you is incapacitated. This is not a practice bout. Injury is a possibility. A possibility. I think it is more than likely. To you, maybe. 
Master, are you certain this is appropriate? They have a dispute, and this is the only way to settle it with certainty. It will be an honorable contest. I have restricted Gao from using his father's sorcery. I said you would regret getting in my way. Fighters, begin! Longsword! It is done. The challenge has concluded and the winner is clear. No! I'm not finished! Yes, you are. Gao, I have made enough concessions to you today. I thought I could guide you away from your corrupted path, but you are too much the son of Gao the Greater. You are no longer welcome among my students, and your father's house shall have no more business here, despite his influence. I was not beaten! Not by this peasant! You were defeated by your own foolish ambition and predictable temper. I will speak with you in my chambers about your expulsion. Go now. Sucks to be you, dude. Everyone, this challenge is concluded. I'm sure the victor would appreciate your congratulations. They are well earned. Enjoy the words it. of your fellows. I will wait in the main hall, where we will discuss the spirit cave. Be certain you are ready when you come to me. Your life is about to change. That was exciting. I'm glad you are safe. I knew you would be. Your skill is unmatched. Even Gao had to see that. I suppose that's what set him off. I hope he isn't allowed to stay. Punishment just makes him worse. Master Li has bent like a willow to accommodate him and his sorcerer's father. But don't you wish that some things made more sense? Anticipation is grueling. So much could be happening that you just don't know about. It scares me sometimes, all this talk of troubled spirits. I didn't ask to be a part of it. As much as you want to know more, I doubt you had a say in your fate either. I'm... I'm sorry. This is supposed to be a happy time. You've proven your ability and... Master Lee is waiting for you. You should go to him. Thanks. Thanks for that, Don't Star. Everyone is talking about your victory. Well, that and ghost stories. Gao was a fool to challenge you. You have always been better than him. Gao was a fool to cheat. Our teacher is a kind man, but he is not soft and doesn't tolerate that kind of thing. You'll face worse things than Gao in the cavern if what I've heard is right. I hope you're ready. What do you need from me? No one really knows anything about that cavern, except that Master Li has strictly forbidden us to go in there. He has always said that it is a place of final testing. I hear whispered rumors that there's something horrible down there. I even asked around town, and there's old, old stories of masters before hours sending students into that cavern, and the students never finding their way out. Oof. I don't have a clue, but I don't envy you having to go down there. Then again, you are the strongest of us, as we're so often reminded, so you'll be fine. Excuse me. 
This is all rumor, mostly gossip from the people in Two Rivers. As I said, no one really knows what's down there. Well, no one but you, once you tell Master Lee you're ready. Stay well. After all, how could we learn without our most senior student to guide us? Shade. Shade is real. You fought well, and the record is yours. I'm happy for you, and couldn't care less about the record. It was just good to fight again and feel no pain. I'm a bit tender right now, but that's to be expected. I should be in much better shape before long. This day has been full for you, and you still have the cavern to face. If you listen to Lynn parroting the villagers' stories, that place has a dark past. But I'm sure Master Lee wouldn't send you into unreasonable danger. Ooh. What can I do for you? I don't know. Why? Goodbye. I just don't know about these secretive school teachers. Master Lee once asked me not to use the style I learned in the Imperial City. It was a fair request, so I agreed. Gao should have known better than to use a forbidden style. What can I do to help you? I don't know anyone else who displays the skill you do. Well, perhaps Gao, but he lacks discipline. That is why he still wears the robes of a junior student, despite his ability. Dawnstar would be next, with few able to match her delicate moves. Beyond that, the only other person I know well is Smiling Mountain, the sparring master. Goodbye. Take care of yourself. Gal was a fool for challenging you. Oh, he's good, but you've always been stronger. He just wouldn't admit it to himself. Thing is, your prize is going into the cavern beneath the school. To hear Lin tell it, that place is going to challenge even you. Everybody loves challenge. Next to nothing. I know Master Lee forbids us to go in there until our final test, but that's about the only fact I have. I hate repeating stories that aren't my own. Lynn has no such qualms, so go ask her about the cavern. Alright. We've talked to everybody. I can't afford the last lesson from Smiling Mountain, so we are just going to do this. Ah, there you are. Have you finished all your business with your fellow students? I expect our next conversation to change a great many things. You should be ready. I am ready. Wait outside, Gal. I will finish with you later. Now, my student, there are many things ahead that you must discover about yourself. I trust you know the importance of your destiny. You are an orphan, but you were not abandoned. You were rescued from the Temple of Dirge in the land of howling spirits. You were orphaned by violent action. I take responsibility for it. You see, I used to be more than a humble teacher. To learn of yourself, you must learn more of me. I was once leader of the Imperial Army. I was known as Sun Li, the glorious strategist. I am the brother of Emperor Sun Hai. Whoa. All right then. I will tell you more, but first, we have an uninvited visitor. The 
eavesdropper. Gao never could keep his ears to himself, especially when angry. So predictable. He's heard as much as I wanted him to. Perhaps it will give him a little perspective. He should respect even the most humble person, because who knows what lies within? That includes you and me both. I was ashamed. He seized your homeland during the long drought. It was an aggressive change in the Empire that would soon bring Death's Hand to power. I withdrew my support and tried to rally your people against the siege I had helped plan. A doomed effort. Many died on both sides. Sun Kin, another brother, also fell. Listen, I will tell you how you came into my care. People were killed. I am haunted by it, and now the world may join me. The assassin on the beach was a lotus assassin, a minion of death's hand. More will come. He is the right hand of the Emperor, and rules the lotus assassins in place of Prince Sun Kin, who was killed at Dirge, a death he may have orchestrated. He shows no hesitation, and gave no thought to the lives of those we faced. His influence poisons the Emperor. I have no doubt he is utterly evil. I have never faced him, but I know of no one living who has. A dark energy sustains him. That is the armor of a man who has no remorse, no pity. And no mercy, apparently. Most in the Empire know nothing of the land of howling spirits. I found its people to be honorable, but I can't tell you more than that. There was no time to learn more. There were three. Emperor Sun Hai, Prince Sun Kin, the Hand of Heaven, and myself, Sun Li, the glorious strategist. Age decided our place in the order of things. Sun Hai was the eldest, and therefore emperor. I was next, and was head of the army. Sun Kin was the youngest, and leader of the monastic order. Hmm. Kinda cool. Your people were guardians, but we did not have a clear idea of what. It is tied to your destiny. 
I will explain if you want me to move on. Let's move on. You were meant for something important, but because of my actions, it was denied you. Stories about ghosts, the assassin on the beach, you are tied to this. Our dead no longer drift to the underworld. They wander, lost, going mad. In time, they may overwhelm the living. It began when your people were destroyed. You condemn without knowing all the facts. That is my fault, but I am trying to make up for it as quickly as circumstances allow. We are on the edge of the Empire, and not all spirits make their presence known. We are not immune, but I kept you isolated. This information could endanger you. How? The first assassin found us by accident. The next attack may not be so... unfocused. To fix the world, you may threaten the power of some dangerous people. The Spirit Cave will make things as clear as they can be. Only Maybe. you are meant to understand what is within. You can see the corruption of the spirit realm for yourself. It was partly the strange skills of Dawnstar that showed me to the corruption, and partly something that belongs to you. You'll understand when you enter. Uh, well, it is thought that spirits naturally try to find their way to the underworld, but if their lives or deaths were painful, they returned to what was familiar. The school has seen its share of tragedy in the past. Something of yours has allowed me to keep the students protected, but the dead will be everywhere soon enough. You must enter and see for yourself. It is here, in my home. I kept it hidden by never acknowledging its importance. It is not hard to hide something. You need only master keeping the secret. Is it safe? No, but few places truly are. This has been a lot to comprehend, so take your time. There are instructions inside, and something that belongs to you. An amulet. When you emerge, you will know more about yourself and your destiny than I can explain. And you will better know your enemy. In we go. Spirits go mad if denied passage to the underworld. They are strong, but you can fight them. You can't kill the dead, but in defeat they are disrupted and can't reform for a time. You are tied to the reason why spirits wander. Many appeared after your people fell, and some are held in this cave. They are drawn to your amulet. It is a head waiting for you. Be careful. It is desired by many seeking power beyond the mortal realm. I make no apology for these trials, my student. You will come to see how necessary they are. Dun, dun, dun.
but the dragon amulet was with you in dirge I understand what it does but you are the one meant to be trained in its use I am sorry that my actions denied you this essence gems are used by healers and upstart sorcerers and are common enough to be wasted on ornamentation but with this amulet you can tap their true potential and a tool for focus and spiritual power. Uh, you will find gems that enhance your abilities. Place the gems in the dragon amulet to gain access. Okay, cool, cool. Plus one to the body. Your people were adept at using essence gems. I kept it from you because power is a beacon. The forces behind the restless dead will take an interest in you. Even mindless spirits may be drawn to you, just as they were confined here. In achieving your true power, you become a target that many will not be able to resist. Great. Legendary strike! My student, I hope you realize your importance. The restless dead must be allowed to find their way to the underworld. All of us will suffer if things continue as they are. Seek the source of this problem and eradicate it. That is your purpose and burden. I hope that the basics I have taught you will aid you in setting everything right. All spirits succumb to bestial rage. A strong will can transcend death. These beings may have powers beyond any living foe, and intelligence to beguile and confuse. All will suffer if the dead remain this way. Soon you must leave Two Rivers. Seek the source of this problem, even if it leads to the heart of the Empire. I have old friends who may guide you, but I have old enemies too. The cave is secure. Meditate on what you see here. When you leave, all will be changed. We will cook a beer for this Takawa. Ok, here we are. Ok, there are no Utak. No Fantayana Okon and Pina Tawa. Oh, Tawa here for you. Oh, no, so far, Karo. Who called me? Oh, 
wo anania ifu we ok sonorok noka ok snapir so atha na ipir na korbir okia ipana noko iwa ir nika sanaria iroro ni nua sa ia kana Kod ni kun kawashia ni kuona bivia. Sata tawe ia kuona ia soni ir ipotoki. Wona wa fu kuno su kod ni a awafawa ia sotok. Blind to the danger, blind to the truth. Ukir wir uk tara no utak. No fanta yera ukona ni pina tawa. Wo tawa ir fu ia ono safakar huru. My power is stretched thin, bled away, and you are too small, too mortal to truly understand. But small things can move beneath the notice of others. Your master hopes that you will grow strong while he leads the predators away. His reasons are clouded, but you must find a way through the fog. You are the one who can hear, the one who can act. Search, but look also for yourself. You are a spirit monk, and you are the last. I do not have the strength to answer. I am cut open, and the way to the underworld is shut. Spirits are lost with no shepherd, no guardians. You must restore us. The amulet is a focus. It will guide you. 
But when you know both sides of the veil of death, ability alone will save you. That's not ominous at all. I have a moment of power, a window to grant knowledge of a primal energy. You must choose between ice and fire, and I will grant the skill to bring them to your hands. I have energy enough only to instill knowledge of one, not both. Knowledge of the other may come in time, but not today. Emotions burn within, but can be coaxed outwards as well. Harness this to bring fire to your hands. Yours is the power to unleash dire flame. There is no inherent villainy in any martial action, only in the hearts of those who wield them. If you rely too much on simple force, then you cannot act without it. I can do no more. I must fade. Pity those spirits that have grown twisted. You will come to know their pain when life leaves you. Pity the world if you fail, spirit monk, for you are the last. Kill something. How can you kill a thing that's already dead? The answer is simple. You cannot. But you can't disperse it. You must, not, uh, you must confront spirits with martial, magic, or transformation styles. One of three meditation doctrines required to understand the iron palm fighting style. Uh, the body must become the anvil, the unyielding surface on which the uh, style is shaped. If the body can't withstand and redirect the energy, iron palm, iron palm is potentially more damaging to the user than the target. Oh, great. Just be 
because I don't want to get too far into the next part of the story. Um, thank you for hanging out, and I hope you are enjoying our story so far as we come to a close on chapter one. Have a great night, great day, adios, sayonara, toodles!